Hey you guys, welcome back and welcome to my channel. Uh, here I am back in the shop, another day, another dirty dollar. Uh, but today I'm going to be working on this little utility trailer. I had a customer come in and he wants just a few things switched up and changed up on this trailer. It's not gonna be a huge job, but for a couple things is that he wants to make it a little bit wider. You can see that there's some big gaps in between the fenders and the deck of the trailer. Uh, he wants to extend it a little bit. Uh, he actually wants to fit his tracker onto this. And so for me, what I did is I drew a blueprint of the whole thing. And so you can see here, and I've taken all my measurements of what everything is. Again, not a drawer, you guys. It's not my, not my forte, but this gives me all the information that I need to know. And then he gave me the measurements of outside to outside, tire, width of the tracker, and then center to center points of the tires front to back, as well as outside to outside. And so with this trailer right now, it's 67 and a half inches wide between fender to fender. Uh, so that's great it, because the tracker is 68 inches in width. And if you can see in here, you can see in here, sort of kind of, uh, there's quite a bit of space in between the fender and the tire. So that's given me a little bit of play that I can work with. So I can actually add seven inches on either side, out to out, outside to outside. And then as for the full length of it, um, I've kind of devised up a plan of how I want this to go, but I'm going to extend this whole front part, uh, I think about six inches. So right now, what did I say? It's 87 inches. And so right now I can extend it. I want it to be 96 inches in total uh, in order to fit this tracker and then just build something simple where he can mount a toolbox on the front of this deck. Let me switch this around and show you exactly what I'm going to do. So for starters, let's show you my second blueprint that I drew. So I could send it to the customer just so he knew exactly what I want to do. I'm going to extend these side pieces so they fit flush with the fenders. And then I'm going, well they extend actually past the fenders. I'm going to be cutting these fenders off right here right alongside of the deck. I'll cut them right off and then I can actually, I'm gonna alter these fenders. I'll probably put an angle on them right like that a little bit. They'll be lowered down also. Um, so we will be cutting both of those off. That'll be the first step. Second step is I'm cutting all of this front bit off. This stuff's not gonna to be too hard to take off. Cutting that off, this is only tacked on in a few spaces. So that will be easy enough to cut off. I can reuse this after I've extended the deck. Um, and also just gonna be cutting this lip off so I can make this flush all the way out. Oh, here I am. <laughs> so, because he wants to be able to have removable sides, but he doesn't want it to be uh, kind of like in the way of everything. He doesn't want it to be there in case he wants to utilize the sides for other things. So pockets are definitely the way to go. So I have some tubing that I'll use and that also makes for really great tie down spots. I have all the material here to get everything going on this. So let's just get building this and make this trailer much better than it is. <laughs> But the nice thing about this is that there is a built-in air compressor in here. Uh, so I don't actually have to hook this one up to the air compressor. So it's nice if, I'm, if I want to take it on a job site because so I don't have an air compressor. I just have my welder. So I can plug it directly into my welder and be able to use it pretty much anywhere. So that's so handy. Uh, this size one I think only cuts, I've only really cut up to about quarter inch. I can, three eighths is pushing it. I haven't really done much with three eighths. Uh, it, it'll try, <laughs> but as long as you're plugged into the 220, then it's usually pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to be using this guy and start chopping everything off. Make sure before I get too crazy with the cutting that I remove all the wiring so I don't cut through any of that. And I'll be reusing the majority of these fenders, so I'm going to actually leave the lights in place where they are.
I know I'm not going to be using this nosing piece, this front nosing piece at all, as I'm going to be boxing this all in. So this all can come right off. So there's a couple things that I want you guys to keep in mind when I'm doing a bunch of this stuff here. Uh, the customer gave me a budget to work off of. They, they told me exactly what they want to spend and not to go over. So that gives me so many hours to work on this. Um, they're just using it for you know stuff around their house, um, for moving quads, moving trucks, the, or their small tracker. So small things like that. And so with the budget that he's given me, there's going to be a few corners that I cut within this, like cutting off these pieces of angle iron on the side of the trailer. When you're cutting it with the plasma cutter, you can't always get right down to the bare flat steel because you can't turn it in because I'm cutting it onto a piece of another piece of angle iron. So if you turn your if you turn your plasma torch too much, then you'll start to dig into the material underneath that you're cutting that piece off of. So I just cut it, so I left about a quarter of an inch that's going to be on there. But because I'm covering this all up, you're actually never really going to see it. And he's eventually going to be putting wood decking down on here. So I'm not going to worry too much about how some of this stuff looks, just for time frame and for budget. So this is just what we're doing with here. Um, but right now, fenders are cut off. I'm going to just use my zip cut to cut off these few pieces because uh, they're not actually, it's not actually on here. It's only on here with these two welds, uh, that front weld, and there's actually just two screws here. So I'm just going to cut those off, and hopefully this whole piece will just come off as one. So I wanted to take off this front piece so when I cut off this lip of this angle iron that I can really angle it down and all the sparks aren't going to spray back at me. Because I want to do this quick so I want to just tilt my, uh, tilt my plasma cut it down and then I just want to drag it all along to the end so I can cut this whole entire lip off. Because I don't need this because I'm also extending this out 6 inches. So this just makes it a little bit easier for me to um, access this without making sparks everywhere. So we have all of these pieces cut off, uh, everything's all done here, and now I want it just to give it just a little bit of a cleanup. Uh, like I said, got the time frame that I have to work on this, so we're doing as little amount to this as we can, but meanwhile, still want to make it look good, still going out with my name on it, so I still want it to, the customer to love it for it to be exactly what they want it to be. So just going to do a little bit of work to clean this up, and then we will start to make our plan for the frame. Uh, I'm just going to get doing some measuring, make sure everything is where I need it to be, and then get on this thing. Gonna give this a few more tacks, uh, and then I'm gonna start to measure my pieces for framing out the rest of this deck.
Now that I have all my spacers in, I'm going to get started on this nose piece. I kind of just started getting going and forgot to record any audio, so here it is, you guys. Uh, just taking all my measurements. This is kind of just build it as you go kind of a deal, making sure that my lengths are right, making sure I have enough supports in there, and making this structurally strong enough to hold the tracker and hold all, enough spots to hold in all the decking. So for here, I kind of had a plan to cut off these awful pieces of angle iron and just to notch these two spots so I could just slide that fender right into place, uh, obviously using this handy dandy bandsaw. I'm love, loving this thing. Uh, getting those bottom pieces with a zip cut makes it so much easier for me to not have to use that zip cut for everything. Uh, but just to fit these onto the frame and shove them into place, but I just didn't like the way that it fit. So obviously sit, stare at it a while change my mind on how I want to do this and then to take new measurements and then cut it from there. This trailer is now welded solid. Everything around this whole frame is welded. I'm actually gonna flip it up a little bit, jack up one side so I can get all the welds on the underside once I'm completely finished and have everything in place. So right now what I wanna do, now that I have these fenders cut down, uh, and I think I've kind of done enough of a little test here to make sure that these fenders are not too close to the tire for when they're going down roads with a load on it. Um, but right now I just have them kind of tacked into place where I want them, but I wanna make sure that they're level. So I put this, piece of metal on top so I can just clamp these pieces and so it'll hold it up so both sides will actually be straight with one another. So that'll be exactly the same one side to the other. And then I'll take some of this flat bar. I'm going to cut it along that shape, uh, probably with my plasma cutter. And then I'm going to just weld it on the inside of there. So I've cut this this way in order for this tracker once he gets this he wants to use this for his tracker and take the sides off, then he'll be able to have that little bit of extra room rather than have these come straight up and worry the risk of running into them. So just having those angles in there just make it so much easier. And I'm also playing around, also known as overthinking, uh, how I want to do these removable sides. I had a couple different ideas. Um, I want to make this really, really simple for him. So what, I, what I've done is I took two and a half inch square tubing and I've cut it into two pieces, and I'm going to be welding these onto the sides like so. So for one, when he's using it as just a flat deck, he'll have these as tie downs, which will work really, really good. Uh, and then for the next, I'm gonna take some uh, two inch by one inch rectangular tubing, and that's gonna be what's gonna sit inside of these, uh, inside of these pieces. But I think this is the easiest way for me to do this right now. I'm sure plenty of you will tell me that there's many other ways to do this, which there is. Uh, trust me, I've been looking on online and I like to put my own little design into things as well.
I'm moving on to the whole side pieces now. The fenders are all welded in solid. They aren't going anywhere. So let's get building the rest of this. Check this thing. I'm in my shop. I've now got these pieces tacked into place uh, so I know my spacing in between each piece. So now I've been able to measure from the outside of this to the outside of that and that is going to be my top piece. So all I'm going to be doing is taking this little fella and attaching it to the top of all of those. So I can just do that on the floor because I know that these are both going to be my end pieces. These are sitting square in there and then that way I can get my measurement for in between this bottom piece. So I'm going to repeat this on the other side as well as on the back and then build the tailgate and then we are done. bring it up above it so it doesn't rest against the fender uh, because when he puts the wood on it can when he puts the wood on it can actually go straight down and then so nothing's actually going to be rattling or, or wearing because if I have this right up against the fender then it's going to rattle and be very annoying so I'll raise that up so right above the fender like so perfect so now to replicate the other side and do the same thing on the back So now I have both my sides done. Now I'm going to be cutting my frames for the back and the front of this trailer. So using my cold cut saw here, I'm going to cut 45s on either side and then make my little frames. So now that I have these frames built for the front and the back, I want to just put some uprights in here for supports and for putting the plywood on. So I'll just tack them into place. Safety squint, you know, you guys, I'm obviously very famous for that safety squint, so don't mind me. I just sometimes I'm too lazy to put my helmet on. I'm sure I'll pay for it when I'm older. But as you can see, I have these sides clamped down to the table so I can weld them solid. I will just weld in all different spots. Again, if you weld in one corner, fully it will more than likely warp on you so I try to do 
a little bit of welding in each corner as I go to ensure that I'm not warping anything while I weld these things solid. So let's give you an update on what is happening in here today. I needed the other bay for a service truck to get in there to do some work, so I have this little trailer into my little bay. Uh, it's a bit of a bit of a mess in here with just lots of little jobs going on right now, but I'm hoping to get this thing finished today. Uh, everything is basically welded up, all the sides are made. So right now I'm just trying to create a way to attach all these pieces together. Uh, in order to lock it into place while he's driving down the road, but I also want to make it very easy for everything to be put into place. So let me show you what I have going right now. So what I've done for starters is I've welded on one of these little latches. And so there, let me show you. They're just these little style of latches. So when you pull it up, it locks into the piece on the other end, and then you just pop it down to tighten it. So these are pretty handy, uh, they're pretty resilient. I don't screw them in, I just weld them on because they are steel, so you just grind off some of the coating and then you can put them right on. So then when you get one on each side, you can just lock that into place and then it's super sturdy. Um, I might put a little locking pin in here uh, just, just to make sure that this doesn't pop up while driving, but it shouldn't. Uh, and then on the bottom end here, I'm just, my, my brain has been going crazy with how to make this work, make it be super functional. Um, and easy to get in and out. I mean, there's a billion different ideas that we could go with, but this is the way that I wanted to do it. So I have just a piece of angle iron that I cut, which I will cut down shorter. And then I've made this little piece here. So you can see that it's got a little bit of a ledge in there. And so this is actually gonna get welded onto this side piece. So once this, actually go that way. Oh, that's for the side. Okay, well that's for the other side. but when this whole thing can just get dropped into this piece and so that it keeps it from going front front to back so it just locks everything into place. So having that just slide into place is super easy. Um, and then once that's put into these two bottom pieces, then you'll just latch these two top pieces and then it is good to go. So I'm just making left and right of these little doodads. So I'm gonna get these other corners made up. I'm gonna get these other top pieces welded in, welded in on the other side and then this trailer is done. Um, I've also, I took a video, video didn't work, but I've also taken off all the expanded off of the inside because the customer wants to just plywood the whole thing. He's just decking uh, the, whole, the whole lot of it. So um, yeah, so that's all taken out. All these pieces are all ready welded solid. So now we're just gonna get the last finishing details and hopefully this trailer can be done today. Let's go.
Alright you guys, the trailer is complete. The welding is done, the cleanup is done, it looks pretty awesome. The last thing that I'm going to do right now is take everything apart, just put a quick coat of paint on it. The customer said he'll paint it, but I always like to put it out, you know, just looking as good as I possibly can make it. So get it all apart, slap some flat black on there. He's going to do all the decking himself, so saves me that little bit of work. I have to do a little bit of rewiring for the lights because I think he wants to move those, which is great. They're fine where they are, but can always use a little upgrade when you're putting this much work into something. I am so pleased with how this turned out. I think he's going to be very happy to be able to utilize this trailer in a much more functional way. All the measurements that I put in here will exactly fit his tracker, and that was his main goal, was to fit his tracker on where the sides are on, as well as the way I designed the sides to get that plywood on so it fits flush to the inside of the deck. So I'm pretty happy, you know, sometimes these little jobs take a little bit of time and a little bit of thought into how you want to design it because I'm not basing it off of anything. So coming up with little ideas to connect everything, little ideas to make everything function the way that the customer wants it to function. So all in all, I'm happy. I hope the customer's happy. I hope you guys are all happy. I appreciate you guys coming in, watching my channel, seeing what it is that I do here in the shop of Country Custom Fabricating doing all sorts of crazy things around here all of the time. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you want to see. Uh, one of my next upcoming videos is going to be a giveaway. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for all of that fun stuff to come. Hope everybody has a fantastic day.